Hey, how's it going? Oh, I am back and ready to get through this. Um, we have... What is it today? And uh, Did that again. Cool. For today, we have... The end of episode two from game two. We will get through that definitely today. We are on the trial. Let's get to it. June 22nd, 9.51 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. I need to check one thing before we get started, sorry. That's why I was messed up on. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm Nick. Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter's only 18 just like me? Uh, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Uh, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Miss Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. Y yeah? Yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Phoenix, stop asking for the backseat. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Miss, uh, Miss Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you to your, I'll leave you to your alone time. Phew, thank goodness. Heck? This way, this way Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? <gasps> oh, it wasn't for the back seat. Oh, Phoenix, aren't you kind? Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh, that's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Uh, it's true what, what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. 
The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did, in Lee, did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But Ms. Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is def is not the defendant? I never said that the defendant. I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Fei, after killing the victim, exited the room, and I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the sand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation? My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fei, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order. Miss Fei, please testify to this cord what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Maya's escape. Let's go! After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in the daze. Then quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities where they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. That's what we're here for, Mia. That's what we are here for. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you're referring to? Well, you know, you, Phoenix, and the other lady, Phoenix. Uh, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry, I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. You can already see the people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? Requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. That is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused, on top of which there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of the sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify, why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Damn, that's good. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad, now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping, that's my own for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. 
A pistol was hanging from Miss Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. During, another, uh, during, our in, uh, during our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But well, why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however... The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. Damn. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What? Pray tell did she... So this witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this ha unexpected thing was, there's always later. Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at this time, the defendant was not physically my affair. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Miss Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however... <laughs> but nobody saw you. You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I'm not sure, about 10 minutes perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness? Elaborate on the point for us. I'm afraid. Mm. Mm. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further. So while you were unconscious, you were, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true. Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Contradiction. It's true that the witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. It looks like Ms. Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough? From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. I hope this doesn't come back to bite a back. Come back and bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Any Mini, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Any Mini? I think you can see where this is headed. Interesting. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Any Mini. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, Miss Minnie. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant my face. Is this correct? Um, <clears throat> well, hmm. Like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right. Isn't it, Your, your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things, Your Honor, of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. Mm. Like, 
When the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later, someone came into the room like really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant Maya Faye? Really now, your honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Minnie. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Minnie, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Really? I was murdered by that person. I'm trying to figure out if that's actually real or not. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Any? She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go f so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This, this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there's room for doubt. So the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish travel. I wonder if you'll make this one, uh, I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last, Mr. Phoenix, right? Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Hold it! Do you know the time? Um, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m., something like that, I think? 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when someone came into your room? Oh, so, like, that's what you sh I mean, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, uh, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness about this person who entered the side room. Does she have short-term memory? Hold it. No, that wouldn't make sense. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. <laughs> well, that was a colossal waste of time. Now then, witness, 
How did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Minnie? Mm -mm. I like hadn't seen her like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something. Wait, fuck, I was I was just reading. Fantress. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but I, like, know all about the crying channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized I was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Could I drop this line question further? So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No, like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow. Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase objection could... Could you try using that once in a while? Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? It is very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet, but I've got a bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright, Miss Minnie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. Her costume looked totally like normal. Normal? So there was nothing odd about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was like weird. Hmm. Nina's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I like go on? My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Something terrible? What was the thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish see see of sieve? Her brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Oh, excuse me? Excuse me, princess? Anyway, should I ask to hear the whole story again? No. I did just hear the story. It's not like my memory is that bad. Actually, the defense is fine and does not need to hear the story, like, yeah. Very well. You can I know there has Yeah, no. Ah hey. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. Did not mean to do that again. The clothes. That was a very well spun lie, Miss Innie. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix, right? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are you? Are we, Mr. Phoenix? Miss Minnie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Minnie, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Order, order, Miss Minnie, what is the meaning of this? Miss Minnie, I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that eep. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Uh, well, I, uh, I witnessed her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. 
Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now hurry up with the testimony, if you please. The judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. You get no backup this time, Phoenix, except for, you know, me up there. The backseater. After the murder, part two. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended, uh, blended in there. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? If you took your sister to the channeling chamber, you would still n notice the blood, especially if you got closer. Hmm. All right, I guess not. Well, very well. You may uh, question the witness. <sighs> really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Minnie's? You are such a hopeless cause, witness. You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. Ugh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. Poor Phoenix. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah, but she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Minnie, like at that time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She like, she, she like said she did something really bad. And like she said she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner, the better. He says with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? Can I ask you one more thing, Miss Minnie? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place, huh? Like, what do you mean? Uh, when... You arrived at the crime scene. I'm talking about when you arrived at the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. Hmm, what should I do? Press harder. Where was the... Where was Morgan? Think harder, I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Just give up, Mr. Phoenix, right? I wonder if I put too much faith in Innie's ability to do anything with that brain. It's no good, I can't find anything wrong. Don't find some sort of hitch in her statement. He'll end the trial, I know it. After, it doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. side room. I'm talking about when you were in the side room, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. Press harder. And Carter, I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Was your sister calm? Ba -ba -bum. On the way, maybe? I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing straight. Press harder. 
Think harder, I know you can remember something. I like totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm? Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something out of the way to the channeling chamber is all... It's very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. I never know where I'm going with this, to be honest. Very well, Miss Minnie, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. Wait, what about Pearl? Hi. Try to remember that time. Uh, oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Something you finally pull out of the witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good, I can't... The, bur uh, the judge believes this testimony. Du -du -du. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber, however, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Interesting, you have a semi-intelligent look on your face, so what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Yep, which means anyone walking through the area would have, would have, ha would have to have seen her. So, Miss Minnie, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> what the hell? Objection! Yeah. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Objection! Preposterous. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish... There's no way if someone walking along the winding way uh, could not have noticed Pearl. Because she was playing with her favorite ball. Oops, silly me. Slip of the finger. Mr. As I thought, this is the wrong piece of evidence. Because she was, she broke the urn. Because she was trying to put it all together. Take that! This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot? What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it, that's why. She broke the urn? Yeah, why, why do you, I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of Winding Way. What? <laughs> Miss Minnie? Pearl was there in the Winding Way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Minnie. You are a masterful liar. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is a witness. So, Miss Minnie, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping? No, oh, there's no way. Your lies end here. What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction here. Contradiction? Where's the contradiction? No. It's in the evidence. It's in her testimony? Where in her testimony was it?
Yeah, actually, no. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Minnie, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Minnie, how did you know that fact? Huh? How? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Minnie, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. By way of the winding way. But look at the manor guide map. If one were to go behind, go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor, which is why, which is why I asked this very important question. Where was a witness at the time of the murder? Um, er, Miss Minnie, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you're... Since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Ray was any Minnie. So now's the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Fright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? The, wit uh, the witness was in the channeling chamber because she was in the box. Miss Minnie was right here, of course. What? But that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Minnie was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. That's why, that, uh, uh, Mr. Phoenix, right? Have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that. Mari, thank you for the raid. Oh, un momento. Oh, you uh, switched over to Sea of Thieves. How'd that go? And I think you started off with Deep Rock, right? Hey. Hey. Only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. F right? Simple, Miss Any Mini was hiding at the scene of the crime. I I was hiding. Where? Like where was I hiding? But yeah, welcome everybody. How's it going? Uh I'm just playing some Phoenix right here and where was she? Oh, she was in the back. And yeah, we are just going through game two episode or yeah, the second game, episode two. Take that! Here, of course. But behind the folding screen? Ah, don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slimeball. Now, now, Miss Minnie. One so young as you shouldn't be saying, shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. Sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, she looks exact. The witness was behind the folding screen with the help of this. The clothing box. Miss Minnie, how are you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. That tiny little box, no one could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lada disproved you when she was, like, hiding from me in it. Um... But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the scene of the crime? Can we prove this?
Yes, I can with some evidence. And now I present a piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. It has a hole inside of it. Take, Take a look at this clothing box. They're so stupid, as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This what on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. <laughs> a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard this before? The folding screen? It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Miss Minnie, you are hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah, uh, this is intense. Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Any Mini? That is exactly what I'm saying. Miss Any Mini, you are hiding inside the clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. To masquerade as Maya Faye? She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No. Stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix, right, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow. Need I remind you, the foolish received no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. <sighs> Miss Minnie? You had an accomplice. Yep. And that would be Morgan Fay. Her, this person? If it wasn't someone from Crime Village, you wouldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Faye? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Minnie? Grrr. You shot Dr. Faye, Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Let's go! We got everything! Yeah. But it's not for good reasons. I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand, dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the holding screen was so low to the ground. Wait, I oh, I thought she would have shot it from the thing. Not, No, she wouldn't have been able to see, so that wouldn't have made sense. Wow, Dr. Gray shot a fi fired a shot before he died? The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and bang. So she stabbed him, he shot the gun, and then she shot him dead. So the gun wasn't even supposed to be used. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we force our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Minnie, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be my fan. But... That sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is why, which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. 
Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What is one supposed to say? This is a real truth behind this murder. Wow. That explains the knife. That really does explain the knife. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Who is that laughing at a time like this? Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely? Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Okay, what's she planning to do now? Mr. Phoenix, right? Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is a real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble, huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Innie Minnie want to, till, want to kill Dr. Ray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A motive? That's... I can't say that she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? <clears throat> Thank you for the hydrate, Appa. Also welcome. <clears throat> Okay, so... <clears throat> This is nowhere near done yet. Oh my god. Uh, I've probably been at Ace Attorney for like... I'd say the last 50 minutes. Welcome back, noob. Absolute zero. That redhead's hat is taking so much abuse. I, I can't help. Oh wait, she's not abusing it right now, though. Ugh. But yes, it is taking a lot of abuse, zero. <sighs> I would say it's gonna be this newspaper clipping. Take that! Ha! Just as I thought, you bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? That's great. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Denial, stupid ramps. I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been like over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She's back to her airhead persona. How? Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You fail to support your own theory. We ain't done yet. This isn't the end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> what Miss Minnie has stated is very true. The, re the revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motives in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. This too. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You, re you should really learn your place. Uh, what happened? I thought I had it for sure. Hee <laughs> hee. See, like I... Like, it's just as I, like, told you. Hmm? I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Any Mini. Yo, she's getting away? Objection. Okay, Mia, what you got? Your Honor? Please allow the defense one more minute, all right? You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia? Yeah? Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder, but you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix, everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it also... 
It is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. All right, your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Minnie had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Oh, Lordy. This is gonna be the hard part. Can I really do this? We're gonna try. Not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and sub substantiate the fact that Miss Minnie had a motive. Ha ha ha, too bad you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix, right? What? You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> God, the poor hat. Avon Karma only cares about the perfect plan. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix, right? And d I don't care if you are my witness, so help me. And I will throw you out of my way. So help me, I will throw you out of my- Oh, I see, I see. No way. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we can reconvene. Hey, wait a sec here. Oh, it's nowhere near done. That was the first huge section. Damn. Oh. oh my god. All right. Give me June 22nd, 12.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number three. Oh, give me a few moments. I need to get more water. I also need to use the, uh, the bathroom. So BRB, thank you all for joining. And I will be back in a few moments. Thank you.
I'm back. Ugh. So I think what Maya just said, is it true what they said about my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. Uh, there's, I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way any could have killed Dr. Ray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why, why would my aunt? Everything is just, everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ms. Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to worry about? Say, your own situation. <sighs> Looking down on me even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Huh. Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion, and then we'll know who the real winner is. Let's go. All according to Von Karma's Keikaku. True. True. June 22nd, 12, 10 p.m. District Court, courtroom number two. <clears throat> Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, now reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Any Mini had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Any Mini and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is a car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Mini, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask me, uh, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past, Miss Minnie, if you please. Okay, okay, like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... Last year's accident. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally dr uh, tired when while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped, too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard about, uh, I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister? Those were merely rumors, total, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Minnie's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. That was like last year in May, Press. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like that was in May too. Like the thing was all it, like the thing with all the patients dying was like May 2nd. And like our accident was like on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was like totally tired, so that's why, duh. That was a malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it... I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister and Mimi Mini? Like, no way. Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Minnie's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Minnie is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? <laughs> like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a total terrible situation. 
It's no wonder then that the car accident happened, huh? Or sorry. Well so then, why didn't you ask about uh why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, but like I don't like have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Minnie. That is false. Hmm, <laughs> Miss Minnie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. gonna strike that soon. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was like at 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had like a paper deuce like really soon, so like I hadn't slept and was working like real hard. So it was because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened? And your sister, what happened to her? I... I didn't see her. The car was like totally black and there was like a ton of smoke. And I like totally had like no clue what was going on. Please tell us more about your escape in more detail. I, I like kept wanting to forget that time. So like I don't remember things about the accident in like detail anymore. <laughs> well, it's all right. No need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident. Like, that would probably be mo the most accurate, you know? You think? If that's the article, then I've already got it. Sorry, checking one thing. why you were in the passenger seat? Like, yeah, I was, like, at my college's research lab till, like, really late, so my sis was, like, giving me a ride home. I see. Phoenix, yes? You can't do this. You're being too easy on her. There's gotta be something. Yeah, there is a contradiction. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, Miss Minnie, if you didn't have your license, why do I have your license? <laughs> Miss Minnie, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Minnie? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I had like a license, but, but I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had at the time of the accident, Director Hadi, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What, are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director and how... How? No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? No, November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year la uh, That's a half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix, right? What in the... That, that's what happened, Miss Wright? At the time of the accident, Miss Minnie did not have her driver's license. Er? Cry and, cry and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would have let, like, let me drive. Don't just stand there <laughs> to yourself. Not you, Tumia, with the whip and the pain and the owl. Miss Minnie, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Uh, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Minnie, if you please. Uh, like, how annoying. Like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. <sighs> Humming to yourself is one of the lines that sounds better in text in real life. Hmm. I think you're right, noob. Hmm. Hmm. Humming. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't be allowed. 
Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, just had gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up... Ah, uh, noob. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hmm, I see, a bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm, <laughs> what is with all the humming now, what? Hmm, wait, has this always been a thing, or am I just noticing now? <laughs> hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's okay. I wouldn't let myself. I wouldn't let myself drive either. I'd crash in record time. Noob, don't say that. You probably drive. You're probably fine. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's a thing or not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I gotta stop. <sighs> so, what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think they're. That's what they're called. Hmm. Uh. A Permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. What? Ignorance is to be whipped. <laughs> what? No, stop it. <laughs> what is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. <laughs> so, like, may I continue? <laughs> I don't drive? You don't drive, dude? Huh? Fair enough. If you don't drive, that's be what it be. It's tough living in the U.S. without driving, I know. I, well, I have to drive all the time, so it'd be what it be. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars. She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain, and, like, she would notice if someone, like, touched the cars with, you know, a car door. Touch the car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Why did she take such a special Why did she take such special care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significant, alright? Well, Miss Minnie, what kind of car was it? It was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK? Were those her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the next obvious topic. The hell, Josh? <laughs> I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor? Yes? Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the, sp the part about it being a special import car? Yes, sir. I, if you like cars that much, then that's not my point. Though, to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Minnie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sister's new car was, like, a totally special model from England. I yelled, hold it, pretty forcefully, but... I don't know any- I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it. <laughs> Let's ask for the heck of it, Phoenix, because I know barely anything about cars, too. Um, so yes, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars so good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. It would seem there's no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? You, what do you know? The that sleek shape, the wild way it starts, it's smooth riding, the raw feel of the manual transmission? Uh, forgive me? Her personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. 
<laughs> Japanifornia. Pretty sure I saw that the hat ripping there. It probably was. The hat is taking so much damage. It's very sad. Was your sister good at driving? She was like totally awesome. She like said she was going to be like um racing queen of the nursing world. Oh, I think she bumped my question off track again. So like that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like yeah, I like immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled like in a daze. Hmm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony, but we have to attack it and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. You really think so? Believe there's a path, I know it. Hmm. Mia almost sounded like a prophet there for a second. It's not really Mia. plot twist here is that any mini is actually Mimi and any was the one that died in the accident You said you opened the right door, Miss Minnie. Do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it, but I opened the right door and like got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is a passenger seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it was an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. We found our contradiction opposite. The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah, uh, what do you mean by this? Miss Minnie, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that would mean you were in the driver's seat. Order, order in the court, order, order. Order! Oh, act. Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Any said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Minnie. That is what Any said, yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Annie or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Oh. I'm gonna say it's Mi a Mimi Mini. The answer is the one person who had her driving license. Mimi Mini. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said the witness Miss Any Mini was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. Who is this person here? Yo, let's go! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Sorry, I got excited. What, so what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? This witness's name, this witness's name is... I'll tell you what her real name... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's name really is... He 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 he. Me, me, mini. That is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? She had surgery. 
This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial re of reconstruction, the surgeons use a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is a picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No, but Mimi Mini, she died in a car accident. That's what everyone thought, however, that was not the case. Then the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Inny Mini. Did they not do any type of forensics? Did they not? Um, did the did the fire actually like just burn any type of evidence that it was me like Inny Mini? Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Mini? That car accident one year ago, the one who died that night was Innie Minnie. Her sister Mimi then saw her face and was reborn as Innie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Minnie from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Mini. However, that would have not been possible because Mimi Mini was still, in fact, alive. Yo! The plot twist! <laughs> How the plot thickens. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening at all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Gray Turner? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling? Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Damn! Well, Miss Innie? I mean, Miss Mimi Minnie? Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Minnie. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go as, as so far to as throw away yourself to become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Minnie wanted her old self to disappear because of this. of the patient sign. <clears throat> that's that's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. <clears throat> the mistake was caused by a nurse, a nurse by the name of Mimi Minnie. That's right, the person standing before us today. A few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Minnie had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The timing could have been worse. 14 patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all, the only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident, her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance, her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. <clears throat> Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming any has been the most horrible experience in the world. Fear channeling the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few uns uh, unsolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Minnie choose to go with such a complicated plan, and why Miss Morgan Fay agreed to help her execute it. Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear, the innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This, this is pre preposterous. I, I'm perfect. Me. 
Franziska Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's gonna be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Yeah, yeah, ow, 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 Phoenix, can we get assault in the freaking courtroom? Yo, she just assaulted Phoenix and everybody. Phoenix, hang in there. Phoenix, Phoenix, this court is a fraud, a sham. <laughs> I'd like to charge. <laughs> I'd like to press charges on Francisca right now, please. Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. Yay, Maya's out! <laughs> they took Phoenix out! <laughs> Damn it. That is all, the court is adjourned. Ugh. Oh, June 22nd, 3.13 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Aww, their first reunion! It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis, sis. I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was a box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Oh. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Minnie had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lada would have had witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye who had just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? But the way... So, yeah, no, Morgan set Maya up insanely well. Even to the fingerprints, erasing the fingerprints off. But that's the, that's the weird part. She was able to get the fingerprints off of the gun for any... And the knife fingerprint as well, just for Maya. So she actually made both of, like, wiped down and made them hold it all over again? Huh. She had a plan down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick, congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know, but I really don't want something like this to ever happen again. Until, you know, game three at, very, at the very least. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. Yeah. yeah. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Mini with a plan like that? I just, I just don't understand, Nick. Hold on, just in case. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... <sighs> well, the obvious choice is... Pearl. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Crime Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear, and what would happen then? <laughs> the branch family, my aunt. No. Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Everything was done for her. It was all so that Pearls would become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think I just... I think... That she was saying, I thought so. Mm. Poor Maya. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement. Cell 13. My precious Pearl. 
You are the only one suitable to be the master of crime, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. It helped that brainless, it helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whip happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying witless main family girl, that Maya Faye. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. I ch a chance will present itself. Your time will come. Episode two, reunion and turnabout, the end. That was actually a very good chapter. Damn. Yo, we're getting a Von Karma full chapter, I believe. Oh, that's going to be a goodie. All right, let's get a preview to see what episode three is going to be about. Big hair lady scary. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. Mm -mm. <laughs> the world's greatest magician. The one, the only, Maximilian Galactica. Burn down. Actually, the music is really good here. I figured that's what you meant, noob. December 26th, the day after Christmas. Uh, Barry Big Circus Circus entrance. It's been a year since Edgeworth. What the hell? Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even... Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> I, I almost got caught up to doing more. <laughs> Damn it. All right, that's going to be the end for chapter two. Or, yeah, episode two for game two. Okay. So we'll end the segment of the Phoenix Wright stream here. Do I want to continue or should I end? I've been streaming for five and a half hours so far. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna continue for the time, but I gotta figure out what I wanna do now. Could do something chill. This game was chill, but it put a lot on my throat now. <clears throat> <sighs> so, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, we're gonna end the Phoenix Wright segment here now. So yeah, hope all of you enjoyed that and we'll continue with the next game in a moment. I'm still gonna try to figure that out. <laughs>